served as an infantry captain in the Army National Guard and as a veteran of the war in Afghanistan. He's also co-host of Fox and Friends Weekend. Pete, thank you for being here. That hey, it, It's a really stunning interview just listening to Trey uh, talking to a member of the Haqqani Network who says that the United States is not upholding its side of the bargain. So this is where <laughs> we are with this, Pete. This is where we are because we made a deal with the devil. And make no mistake about it, the Haqqani Network is the devil. The Haqqani Network is a wing of Al Qaeda. Uh, this, uh, the, the, the man who uh, Trey Yingst interviewed is the brother of Siraj Haqqani. Siraj Haqqani is the interior ministry with a million dollar, $10 million bounty on his head. The current inside the cabinet of the Taliban, where he controls the interior ministry, which is the police and the intelligence forces, he is in charge of combating Terrorism. Think about how rich that is. So someone who's in bed with Al Qaeda is in charge of combating terrorism. There's one thing I know about jihadists. They believe they can lie at will to the infidels, to the West, to advance their view. And that's exactly what you're seeing right now with this charm offensive, with this PR offensive that the Taliban, Haqqadi, and Al Qaeda together are putting on. They're trying to pretend like this state run by the Taliban will be like just any other nation state. And that ultimately we can trust them. Other countries should bring in their embassies. Uh, and, and it all will be well when what we all know is those lies are all justified by jihadists because it advances their cause against the West and Americans. They seek to expel every single one, kill as many as they can if they can. They made a bargain with a weak Biden administration that they believe gave them everything they wanted. And you're covering that uh, ceremony of one of the 13 that was killed. Uh, that, that death is a result of a deal with the devil that was ultimately never in our control, that had us tucking tail and leaving Afghanistan. And now, and Trey Yinks is doing great work, but now we're doing interviews with Haqqani, who's trying to justify that there's some sort of a legitimate government, when all they are is a, is a mega terror state that would love to hit us again if they could. Astonishing. Uh, and he says we're not living up to our side of the agreement. We've got $64 billion, I think, <laughs> in aid that is designated to go uh, to help people in Afghanistan. We know from past history uh, whose pockets a lot of that will end up in, whoever's in charge. It used to yes. be the Afghan government. And now it's going to most likely be the Taliban, um, uh, thanks to Trey Yingst, uh, who is you know putting himself in the thick of it to get us um, information from the ground in Afghanistan. Sure. Pete Hegseth, thank you very much. It's always good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank Pete. you, Martha.